Hello, bathroom patrons, and welcome back to The Toilet Chronicles. So, since I played last evening, I have come up with a couple of ideas here that I think might lead to a couple more of the endings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up here. See if I can get it. All right. So now, in theory, I would fall through the floor. Ooh, almost fell off there. That wouldn't have been good. Okay, so I was able to turn into a mouse. That was what I was hoping for, because if you remember, when we saw that face that was over there, and on the loading screens here, we had another mouse uh, entrance right over here. So I wanted to try that out. Alright. Who are you? Well, I'm a human. Then prove it. Alright. If you wish to be a mouse, eat like a mouse. But if you wish to be a man, pick up those sticks. I put it in this slot. Toilet paper equals advice. Okay. Do I have to eat the cheese with this? I'm confused as to what I'm doing here. Maybe put them back on here? I don't know. Okay, you can stop now. Kill Bill 2 reference. Interesting. Um, I'm going to eat the cheese, I guess. You chose to live like a mouse. Good ending. All right, so we did get in our ending there. Perfect. So it said to bring the toilet paper with. I wonder if I put that down there. Then will it automatically go through the floor? Yes. Yes, it will. Alright, so I'm going to try to become a mouse again. Perfect. There's my toilet paper. So toilet paper equals advice. I don't step in one of the traps. Uh. Okay. I gave you the toilet paper. Now what? Okay, I've got a little rat paw here. Oh, I think I see. Can I have that toilet paper back then? I need toilet paper to do this. And I can't really run. Oh, he sees me. Yeah, can't escape him as a mouse, really. I also wonder what would happen if I was in that little room when uh I got a couple things I want to try out. Alright. 
So first things first, I want to see if I'm in that little room when the uh, the door closes, what happens. Do I get that toilet paper back, or am I just uh, kicked out? Oh, I didn't. Darn it. Didn't get the button press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nothing I could do there. I think there might be a safer way of doing this. Let's see here. The more I'm looking at this. I put that there. I put that there. Then I should be able to turn into a mouse. Because I can jump. I know these were... Can I get up here? Whoop. Okay, maybe this is not the simpler way. Thought this would be. Eh. <laughs> Struggling with these endings right now. Alright, so we really need to get that one... We need to be able to press the button off the bed. Seems like the best way. Throw that down there. Make sure it goes through the floor. Alright, it went through the floor. All right, we got it this time. So let me see what happens if I sort of maybe back into that room and then have the toilet paper come in after me. Maybe I can wedge that door open so I get the hint because I'm not sure if I need that hint in order to get past him or not. I'm going to go with the human route. Yes, why not? Alright, so. Back in here. Didn't get in there in time. Uh, now what? Oh. <laughs> the worst ending. You are trapped. So that actually was an ending. Alright then. Well. <laughs> Uh, let's try again. See if I can sneak past him. Seems like that's the easiest way to do that. Not exactly I would say easy, but it's the best I got. Alright, so maybe if I just go like this. Basically, I want to shield myself from him. There are also rat traps here, which is not great. I think I can sneak around it on this side. What in the world? Got a gas mask over here? Are you in Breaking Bad? I think this is breaking bad. Do I put this over here? Wait, there was no story. Breaking bad, alright. <laughs> I was right. Okay, so we've done everything we can that way. 
And I guess that's my body with those legs attached to it. <laughs> All right, then. So I still have to figure out how to get through that door. Oh, it looks like that's actually going to be the end, and so I might have to start over. Thank you for playing. All right. Let me go ahead and load game. Because I'm a child. <laughs> Do you want to go back to crying on a toilet? Yes. Yes, I would like to. Okay, so that actually... I could have just started a new game, I guess. Alright, so this is still... Can I click on this? I, I could click on that. I don't think I should have clicked on that. But I could. Um... <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Wait, now we have a screwdriver? Can I use this on the grate so that way I don't have to deal with the guy in the bathroom? Let me see here. Uh, it's gotta be a way to... Okay, that worked. So that got me in here. So I know that two of the numbers are two and nine. So I'll put those in. Is we learned those yesterday. But we have a lot more numbers to get. I was just thinking about this. Oh. That door is yellow. That door didn't used to be yellow. Are doors over here also yellow? There are no doors. Never mind. Take care of him. Private pile was here. Alrighty. Right click to get gnomed. What does that even mean? You've been gnomed. Do that again. Okay. <laughs> well then. Uh, we got the screwdriver back, so that's a good thing. Can I knock it out of the way with this? Alright, got the grenade. I know there are still a few more endings. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to probably have to 
see if I can find them. Because I really want to play through all the endings. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and look those up. Because I'm sort of at a loss. I, I don't know what else I can really do. Wait a second. I belong in the trash. That's this guy. Oh! Alright. Well, we've got the five. Let me put this in the trash. Hey, I did a thing. Great. So we've got the five. So we got two, five, nine. Where are the other numbers, though? What does this have to do with anything? I'm very confused. Huh. As I said, I think I'm going to look this up. Is I do want to see what endings I'm missing and see if I can get them. So, I've played through as much as I can without that, but I really, uh, I'm enjoying the game and I want to see what these other endings are. So, I will be right back. Okay, I'm glad I looked because I don't think I would have gotten these other endings any other way. So, one thing that I need to do is evidently bother this guy over here. And I've just got to continue bothering him. Please don't do that again. Doesn't really matter what it is, just got to drop stuff into his stall. Stop. It definitely is having a reaction. Please don't do that again. Stop. Stop. Okay, you pissed off your neighbor, and he crushed your pelvis. Yeah, so that's one of the endings. As I said, I would have never gotten that one on my own, I think. So, alright. Then if you notice there, when it said loading, that's actually important to us as well. Because we will have that 6 is one of the numbers also. But next, let's try this. Yeah, so to get the queen reference, you just have to try the door handle here at the very beginning over and over again, and you'll get it. All right, now let's see. Basically, everything else is going to involve the numbers. So for that, I actually do need to go in here. And I've actually got to go back to using the toilet. Because this number is probably the hardest one uh, to figure out. This actually took me quite a bit of looking in order to find out. Like, I found the number quite quickly, but no one explained how they got it. So yeah, even though we have the screwdriver, we need to do it this way, and I'll explain why here in a few moments. But yeah, don't know who originally figured out the uh, the whole situation of the the numbers. But yeah, so we know one is right there. That's uh, the five. The six, as I said, we see in the loading screen because the number six is a different color. Now we need this. We're actually going to need that. So let's put that over here. We don't have to actually do any more. We just needed to get that. That was the big thing. 
Actually, you know what? I'm better off doing the rest of this too. All right. Because I realized I actually do need something over here. All right, got that. Get that. And this is what I need. Okay. I thought that was going to kill me, actually, which would have been really bad. So now let's take our stuff through the void, put it over here, because we're going to need them. Alright, so to recap, so far we have the two, we have six, we have five, and we have nine. Then we need the other two numbers, and they are going to be over here. So, first of all, we'll use the clock. Remember how I was saying yesterday there that the red makes things look different? Yeah, like the scary text here. Well, they did actually use it for something. And there it is. So all the other numbers vanish other than the 8. So the red is going to be 8. And then we need the camera. Tick, 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 tick. I really wish I could get this off of the stand again like I had that one time. It would make life so much simpler. There we go. Perfect. Did you see it there? I'll try to do it again. In the darkness, there is a one. So in theory, this will be one. And it is. And we can use the door. Chapter five, party break. And that's all. You're back at the party. They don't know that I am also having a good time. All right. Are you disappointed? Sorry if you didn't get all the answers, but at least it was fun. This is true. And I think I have gotten all the answers. Oh, I just had I, to look it up I a little bit. I think I owe you one more ending. Here. All right. So as far as I understand, I believe I'm only missing one ending now. So. We shall go back and you can get walk around if you want, and then just press Q when you're bored. Can I leave the party this way? Doesn't look like it. All right, so we'll go with the end. So I need one more ending. Now I already explained how we get to that ending this time, so I don't have to do the same thing over again. 
all we have to do is we have to get the uh, through that door again. And we're going to have to, this time, take the gnome with us. Alright, so let's go ahead, grab the screwdriver. Get in there. Get the grenade. Oh, I guess we can't exactly blow that up yet, because it's not there yet. Or if we can. I don't see why we couldn't. Hey, we can. Sweet. Alright, so we go through here. We're going to take this. We're going to go get the gnome. But this time we're not going to actually kill ourselves with the gnome. Hopefully. So, let's put the gnome over there. So it was two... Six, five, nine, one, eight. And then we're going to take the gnome with us. There's the gnome. And that's all. You're back at the party. Are you disappointed? Sorry if you didn't get all the answers, but at least it was fun. Oh, and I, I think I owe you one more ending. Here. All right. You escaped with your partner. Was it all a dream? I believe that that is all of the endings to the game. You can walk around if you want, and then just press Q when you're bored. But I will do a quick check just to make sure I've got them all. Uh, if I've missed any, I'll be right back and then we'll get that. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and come back and let you know that I do have them all. Since I have to get out of the screen though here, might as well just press Q when you're bored. Get gnomed. <laughs> Alright, so that was all of the possible answers for the game. That is all the endings and all the secrets. Sorry for the last time, now it's fixed. I don't know if I believe them, but we will press it here at the end of this, because why not? We haven't tried it again, so we'll see how it goes. For now, though, this was a lot of fun. It's a quirky little game. It's only probably at most an hour's playthrough. Um, as I said, I did want to show you those last endings and stuff, so I'm glad that I was able to find them and explain them to you. If you enjoyed what I did in the video, though, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so they're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more games on the channel.